Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a simple adapter by UOUV that is going to enable you to easily add a FETCHA compatible receiver to your DJI digital goggles without having the need to open them up and void the warranty. The UOUV adapter is based on three components, the main board, a flexible 3.5mm AV cable and the short 5.5 by 2.1mm DC to DC cable. In addition, inside the box you are also getting three pieces of double-sided foam pads which you can place between the DJI goggles and the main board. The board itself is pretty simple. On its right side you can find a female header that matches the same pinout of a Fetchalk model bay. On its top side you can find a DC in port which matches the same working voltage of the DJI goggles so you can plug it to lighter batteries between 2 to 4 cells. The voltage is going to be regulated to 5 volts in order to power up the receiver model and on the bottom side of the board you can find the DC and video ports which you are going to connect to the DJI goggles. Mounting the UOUV adapter to the DJI goggles is done using these two hex screws which are located over here. First I recommend to stick two pieces of the included foam to the bottom of the board in order to make sure that the goggles are not going to be scratched. Then remove the two screws on the side using the included hex key. Place them inside the left side of the adapter and then secure it to the DJI goggles. Now all we have to do is to plug the AV cable to the video out of the adapter and to the video in of the goggles and also plug the DC cable to the DC out of the board and the DC in of the goggles. Finally we can connect a FETCHA compatible receiver and now let's power everything up and as you can see the rapid fire and the DJI goggles are working simultaneously. Now you can switch the goggles to AV in and use them for flying your analog quadcopters. As you can see the cover of the rapid fire is not secured properly and I recommend to use a zip tie in order to secure it. Here we can see for example how it looks like when the first FAV 3D4 model is mounted inside the adapter and as you can see it is not as clumsy as the rapid fire. By the way you don't need any modifications to use the rapid fire model and low power is not indicated. So as you can see this is a very elegant solution and on top of that it's going to prevent you from accidentally disconnecting the DC plug. In terms of power consumption the average ampere draw when the module is connected is about 0.8 amperes and when powering up the goggles without it the average current is about 0.6 amperes. In case you don't like this pretty long extension cable and you would rather use a battery case strapped to your head, I recommend checking this head strap by WLYL which can accommodate a battery case on its right side. In addition I also got their faceplate but in my opinion there is not enough room for the nose and even though it reduces the light leakage, the original face pad by DJI is more comfortable. So overall, in my opinion, in case you own the DJI digital goggles and you still want to fly analog quadcopters like me, you should definitely consider getting this adapter by UOUV as it is a very elegant solution, easy to install, not expensive, and unlike the solution by iFlight, won't require you to open up your expensive goggles, risk damaging them, and void your warranty. Two more things before wrapping up this video. First of all, this adapter can be useful also for adding an external receiver for the excellent Sky 030 goggles. And in addition, in case you already think that you spend too much on the DJI goggles, remember that you don't have to get an expensive model such as the Emergency Rapid Fire, and you can settle for a cheaper one such as the Ishin Pro 58, which performs great and will give you an excellent value for money. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.